Hey friends, it's Joe Tafoya, SeattleSmortgageBroker.com. Today we're going to talk about rate lock extensions, or more importantly, how to avoid them because you don't want them. It's a lot like a penalty for missing a close date. The idea behind it is when you first lock your rate, you're deciding how much you're going to pay for that rate lock, but then ultimately that creates your timeline. And so if you end up from start to finish and you missed your finish date, now all of a sudden you gotta have a little bit extra on there, well that's gonna make your cost go up. So what you really wanna do is make sure that you're not locking your interest rate until you are absolutely certain that everything is going to close by said date. Otherwise, the lender will charge you additional interest and penalties. If you have any kind of questions about this, please feel free to reach out to us at questions at seattlesmortgagebroker.com. Thanks, have a wonderful day.